Hi everyone, my name is Brittany Martin and I'm a top shelf financial analyst. Today I want to discuss with you the difference between the XIRR and the IRR formula and we'll be using the hotel acquisition model to demonstrate the difference. So to get started, let's discuss what an IRR is. The IRR, or the internal rate of return, is a discount rate that makes the net present value of a project zero. The IRR provides an annualized rate of return. So now you might ask, how do I calculate this in Excel? Well, there's two different formulas you can use, the XIRR or the IRR formula. Both can return slightly different results. This is due to that the IRR formula assumes that there are equal time periods of a year between the cash flows of a project. The IRR formula only calculates based on the cash flows. Alternatively, there is the XIRR formula, which is much more flexible and is also based on the dates of the cash flows for the project. The XIRR calculates based on the actual number of days in a period over 365 days. So let's show you how this is working in the hotel acquisition model. So as you can see in this levered IRR cell in C187, where you see a levered IRR of 14.4. And this is using the XIRR formula. So in this calc, there's two different inputs, the values and the dates. So the values is taking the levered cash flows and it's taking the dates in row 12. And for the dates, you should always make sure it's in the date format. So the levered cash flows, the negatives are showing contributions while the positives are showing distributions. You can alternatively calculate this by using the IRR formula. So let's show you that. So if I type in IRR here, and all I need to do is select the cash flows, multiply it by 12, I get a 13.51. So you might be asking, why are these giving me two different results? Well, this is again due to the IRR assuming that there is equal period of time in each of uh, the months. While this is not the case, there's 30 days in some months, 31 days in others. So that does not take account for that. So this is why we always prefer to use the XIRR formula, mainly since we are using monthly cash flows. And if I did have this based on a certain day, this would also take into account um, the cash flows being on that day. Uh, additionally, we use the XIRR formula in our waterfall calculations. So this is very important to always read through your JV agreements or other legal agreements you have telling you, um, they might specifically tell you to use the XIRR function or the IRR function in Excel. We default and always use the XIRR function, and which is like very important since a lot of our waterfall structures have um, promote hurdles, so they have to reach a certain IRR before they get to higher percentage of the cash flows. So making sure that that's done correctly. So if you look for this one, um, it needs to get to an eight percent hurdle and it checks that it gets to the 8% before it moves on to the next tier in the waterfall. So that's all I have for you today. Um, if you have any questions about um, the XIRR, the IRR for formula, feel free to reach out. Have a good one.